Hello friends, let's talk about the recent rumblings in the market that the transportation companies are slowing down and that can be observed in a drop in the Dow Jones transportation average and holding companies like CSX that do all sorts of transportation. It's all related to the Dow theory. So let me show you here. Uh, this is on Wikipedia, Charles Dow. So this is over a hundred years ago. Uh, Charles Dow, who actually uh, created the, uh, founded the Wall Street Journal, so you know, an, an important respected guy in the markets, also created a series of indexes, including the Dow Jones 30, which is super famous, and uh, the Dow Jones transportation average. And he found out that in a healthy economy, they both move uh, upwards together, meaning that if you have a factory, uh, you know, you need uh, material, you need transportation. When, the, when, the, when your material is finished, you need transportation to sell it to stores or other factories, right? So they should always move together. When transportation, uh, you know, diverges, it's a bad thing. That, that should make sense, right? There's something going on. It could be a harbinger of bad things to come. And this is what we're going to do here. This is a hands-on with Python. I'll show you where to get the data, how to plot it. And here we see, right, the um, the, the Dow Jones in blue and uh, the, the, the transportation in red are diverging. So uh, the key here is to learn how to do it yourself so that, you know, when you hear people, you can corroborate it on your own and get in the habit of looking at it on a regular basis so you, you never feel lost. So uh, we're going to look at uh, a few, uh, you know, a few financial products, the Dow Jones, the, the Dow Jones Transportation Average, and CSX. So the Dow Jones um, is, uh, you know, it's made up of 30 companies, big companies, Caterpillar, Apple, you know, Coca-Cola, uh, IBM, you know, very famous. It's up there with the S&P 500. And the Dow Jones Transportation Average is, as you can imagine, a group of, of stocks, an index made up all sorts of transportation. So you have a lot of airline, airline, trucking, railroads, uh, uh, you know, boating companies, marines. So anything that you know transports things. So a great way of seeing what's going on in in the markets. And we we'll also look at CSX, which is a specific holding, which is actually part of the uh, of the Dow Jones transportation, and it actually kind of dropped. And we'll, we'll we'll plot that one as well. So um, first of all, welcome to the Viral ML Show. My name is Manuel Amunategui. Please sign up for my newsletter. It's right here in the middle of the page, so you get early access to my material and some deals on the stuff I have. Also. Um, um, you know, sign up for the, uh, the sorry, subscribe to the channel. Su you know, uh, give give the show some thumbs up. This video will be classified under at viralmail.com under channels and finance, and there you'll find all my other videos on finance, including the source code links to the source code. So let's get going here. Um, let me just scroll up here. Uh, here we're going to uh, first get some data. So we're going to get a few things. We're going to get the, of course, the, the two Dow Jones uh, uh, indexes and CSX because it's, it, it dropped drastically. It'll be interesting to kind of uh, add it to a chart as well. So the the first thing we need to do is get the Dow Jones uh, 30, the industrial average, super famous. Um, and uh, we can go to uh, Yahoo Finance. So it's finance.yahoo.com, right? We go there a lot on my videos and type in carrot DGI. And it should bring it up. Uh, you'll see a date range. You'll also historical data. Then you'll see a date range, and go max, done, apply, and download. And that will download, uh, you know, many years of the Dow Jones onto your local machine. Do the same thing for the Dow Jones transportation average. The link is in in the notebook as well. I could not find I could not find that uh, uh, that index at uh, you know fi uh, Yahoo Finance. So we have to go directly to a Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. It's slightly different format, but we'll clean it up to make it to make it work for our needs. Hit max. Download CSV, and that too will download on your in your downloads. And finally, do uh, get CSX. CSX is a transportation holding company, and uh, same deal, right? Go put it in historical data, get as much data as you can, uh, max, and apply download. So you'll now have three CSVs, comma delimited file in your in, in you know in, in your downloads folder. Move them to the same folder you're going to run the Jupyter notebook, or have a link like I've been doing lately. Um, where's my link? It's right here. I kind of have a, a link to my market data like that. I can you know uh, organize it by date. So let's load it. Uh, the data. Uh, let's walk through one of them, right? We 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 open it up using pandas uh, read underscore csv. We cast a date to a date time, so Matplotlib knows how to uh, uh, knows it's a date and can you know can uh, show clean labels. Uh, we're going to uh, drop a lot of stuff, right? We, from from these these sites, will usually give you a date, open, high, low, close, adjusted close, volume. We're only going to use the date and the adjusted close. Uh, the adjusted close is better than the close because if there's dividends or any adjustments, it will be adjusted. So we kind of, and we also rename uh, the adjusted close to something that makes sense, especially if you're gonna mix multiple uh, uh, financial products, you kind of wanna be able to separate them as a feature. So now this one's gonna be called Dow close instead of adjusted close. I like to print the min max date to see how much data we have. 
always sort it by date in ascending order whenever you're working with moving averages or percent changes or anything, you know, have it in the same order. Uh, some will have ascending order, some sources will have descending order. Always get in the habit of doing it in ascending order by date, and you 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 know you won't have you won't create these these bugs which I, I had to, to deal with in the past. We're also going to do the percentage change. And that's simply uh, the stock price kind of holds the history of where it's been in the past, right? It's a it's you add or you subtract the new the the, the, the new change, right? Percent change doesn't. It just looks at one one price point to the next, and that that's it. And and, and calculates a percentage. Did it move? You know, two percent, one percent, whatever, and ignores the entire history. So it's a nice way of seeing uh, exactly this every single move, and then you can compare them with other stocks on the same scale because you're looking at a percentage scale. So it's it kind of you know um, generalizes the data a bit. So it looks good. We're going to do the same thing for uh, the uh, the transportation uh, index. Here we have to do a few more things because the data uh, comes from a different uh, different site. The date is capitalized, so I like to change it so it's all in the same format. Um, and uh, we're going to uh, uh, you know uh, re re so basically I'm kind of ca opening the data, casting the date to a the date time, and then renaming it as a date, uh, the same format as Yahoo Finance. And that's why afterwards, I kind of, you know, remove all the other columns, including the, the, the capitalized date, and j I'm just left with my new column ca I call DGTA and date. Uh, we also, there is some uh, weird, uh, uh, there are periods in missing data for some bizarre reason. I remove those, and you have to cast it to a float. Uh, it's a string otherwise. Same deal, we print the min-max date, we sort everything in ascending order, and we do the percentage change, and it looks good. Uh, and again, CSX is exactly the same thing uh, uh, as we did for the Dow Jones uh, 30, uh, exact same drill, and there we have it. Okay, so it's interesting to know, so, so the, the, um, the Dow Jones gives you data from 1985, the transportation from 2019, 2009, and the CSX from 1980. So obviously, if you want to compare all three, you got to go with the you know the the, lo the smallest common denominator, which is going to be in our case, uh, 2009 for the transportation index. So let's have some fun. Let's plot it all. So we could uh, uh, let's go for um, because we have data from 2009. Let's go 2009. I am going to take a copy of each one of our data frames. Like that allows me to work on a temporary copy, and I have to reload and clean the data. And you can then do different cutoffs. That's exactly what we're going to do. So let's first start by doing the Dow Jones uh, Industrial with the Transportation, not the holding company. And so, so we're going to do uh, the first, uh, first of all, we're going to create a, uh, a subplot where we can size the, uh, the chart exactly for a Jupyter Notebook, uh, this, so, so 16 by 8. Then we are going in, in the, the default uh, scale, uh, the default Y scale, we're going to put the Dow Jones. And I'm going to put, put it in blue. I'll put the label called Dow underscore closed. And I'm going to put the title. Uh, and we're going to plot the, the legend in the lower right. Then I'm also going to do the grid. I like having you know the grid on the chart. It's good to have. We're going to open a second axis. It's very easy to do. You call uh, axis dot twin x. And on that one, we're going to uh, we're going to create the Dow Jones transportation average. So we'll have two y axes, one on each side, um, and uh, we're going to plot the, the legend in the lower left. So uh, yep, lower right, lower. And let's see what it looks like. So a lot of data, hard to see what's going on, way too much. So we're going to have to cut it. So let me go back and cut it to, uh, and please play around with that, right? I'm going to go 2019. And there, right? This is what I was showing earlier. We can clearly see the divergence. So if we do the, uh, we're going to add a third axis. So again, just call axis twin X again. And this time we're going to put the CSX. So CSX is, is a holding company. It has some transportation, railroads, I think, you know, uh, uh, marine stuff. And we're going to put that one in green and we're going to plot it on the same chart. So now we have three Y axes. And that's why it starts getting complicated here, right? You have the one axis here and they're kind of clumping two axes together here. But look at that, right? This is what's interesting. I think this is what spooked the market was how CSX dropped dr tremendously in this past week, right? And it's going to bring down, uh, because CSX is a part of the Dow Jones transportation average in red, it's going to bring it down. So here we see strong divergence. Who knows? Maybe something you know internal to CSX, uh, or uh, you know, it's the harbinger of things to come where uh, people are not you know buying transport anymore, and that means that you know where this the demand has dropped. It's just a leading indicator. It's something we're going to see you know in the near future. So one more thing we can do for fun. 
is you can play around with that percentage change. So this is a way of looking at you know the difference between each price point and not worry about the history, right? So if it was stock goes from 200 to 201, we don't care about it. We're looking at going from, from that 200 to 201 change, nothing else. And that's what the percentage average. So it rotates around the zero line once you calculate it. So let's start with the Dow percentage change with the Dow, the Dow Jones uh, 30 percentage change with the transportation percentage change and plot those together. And here, look at that, right? Uh, is that CSX? Uh, I didn't, oh, here it is, sorry. Um, so here we have, we clearly see in blue, the Dow Jones and the transportation in, in green. And you're looking for, you know, spiky moves, right? Because again, it rotates around the zero line. So it's not historical. And look at that. You're starting to see this very drastic uh, uh, spike downwards. And that's what, you know, the market spooked the market out. Um, we could do the same thing for the Dow Jones and the CSX uh, on their own and even more drastic, right? So really this CSX that brought down the market, that brought down that, 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 that uh, um, the transportation average. So uh, it may be interesting to see, uh, the, uh, you know, to, to remove CSX and look at just the other transportation indexes to see, you know, if it's truly something to be worried about or not. But either way, we know how to do it, right? We know how to look at it ourselves. Uh, some people say transportation is not as important as it used to be. Uh, I don't know. It's true that companies like Facebook uh, don't need, uh, uh, you know, Google don't need transportation that much. But companies like Amazon, companies like Apple, they all produce goods. Amazon is all over transportation, right? You know, for its uh, uh, for, for for its online ordering system, it's all about transportation. So uh, I don't know if I agree with that with that statement. Either way. Uh, the Jupyter Notebook is there for you know for you to play around, experiment with that other 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 stocks, plot other stocks of you know the the Dow or the 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 Dow Jones or the Dow, the Dow Transportation Average and play around with. It. That's what's fun. That's what that's what's interesting to do here. So, uh, if you like, I know at the end of the videos I like to plug some of my books. This book, of course, is the little book of fundamental indicators where we do exactly what we just did here. Uh, we do for the Spider, the, the S&P 500, the VIX, uh, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, all sorts of different things. We look at how to where to find the data and how to plot it. You can find that book on amazon.com simply put my first and last name on amazon you'll find all my other books and including this one right here i also have a class for those who are interested in fundamentals uh called fundamental market analysis with python uh at udemy so please check it out and uh again uh you know give the video some thumbs up thanks for watching